Welcome to live2place.com, best e-learning portal for IIT JE, NEET and Foundation. Hello students, in this video I will discuss how to calculate freezing point depression. Freezing point depression is a change in temperature when we add a non-volatile solute to a solvent. A non-volatile solute is a solute which has a very less tendency to dissociate or evaporate. And when we add a non-volatile solute to a solvent, the freezing point of the solvent decreases. That's why in this process, in freezing point depression process, the freezing point of the solution is always less than the freezing point of solvent. Here we can write here, freezing point of sol solution, solution is less than the freezing point of uh, solvent. This is the formula given here to calculate freezing point depression. Delta Tf is equal to I into Kf into M, where delta Tf is freezing point depression, I is ones of factors. It is the number of uh, dissociated ions of solute in a solution. Kf is freezing point depression constant and M is the molality. We know that molality is equal to moles of solute upon mass of solvent in kg. And so this formula can also be written as in this format. Delta Tf is equal to I, I is one of factor, K is, uh, uh, K is molal, uh, molal freezing point depression constant and so W, small w is mass of solute in gram, M is the molar mass of this solute, non-volatile solute and capital W is the weight of solvent. I will show you uh, by applying uh, these two formulas, both which are same you know, uh, in this problem and so you will see that we will get the freezing point depression value same. This is the problem given here and in this problem let me show you uh, how you can calculate freezing point depression uh, by using these formulas one by one. Let me uh, apply this formula first. The problem says that 75 gram of ethylene glycol, this is a non-volatile solute and the mass of non-volatile solute is given, is added to 675 gram of water this is the solvent means mass of non-volatile solute and solvent is given the question says that calculate freezing point depression it means that we have to calculate delta tf value and so it says further kf that is freezing point depression constant of solvent is given 1.86 degrees celsius per m molality and so molar mass of the solute is also given now let me apply this formula and so before we apply this formula we need to calculate molality of the solution. Molality means here we have a small m, capital M mm, represents molarity. Molality is equal to moles of solute upon uh, kg of solvent. So here we can convert the mass of sol uh, solute into moles, its uh, molar mass is also given here, 75 gram it is given and so one mole uh, has one mole has a 70, uh, no sorry 62.07 gram. Here gram gram will cancel out and we can divide these values, we will get the moles of solute. Here we have at the top 75 and it is divided by 62.07. The value which we get that is 1.208. 1.208, these are the moles of solute. Now we find out the mass of solvent in kg. Here we can see that mass of water is given in, in gram. We can convert into kg 675 grams and so 1 kg is equal to 1000 grams 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 will cancel out and so we can divide this value the value which we get that is 0 0.675 675 and so it is in kg now we can plug in the values moles is 1.208 and it is in moles and so mass of solute in kg is 0 0.675 and say kg. Now we can divide this value and say we will get the molality of the solution. Here we have 1.0, sorry it is 1.0, uh, 1.208 and it is divided by 0 0.675 and the value which we get that is 1.789. It can also be written as 1.790. Here we have 1.790 and it is molality. And so it can also be written as moles per kg. Now we can apply this formula. The first formula, delta Tf, here we have delta Tf, that is freezing point depression is equal to I. I value for non-volatile solute 
is taken as one because it is having a very less tendency to dissociate here we have one multiplied by kf value is 1.86 1.86 and it is degree c per molality multiplied by here we have molality 1.790 and it is m mm will cancel out and the unit which is left that is degree celsius means that delta tf value will be in degree celsius now we can do the calculation 1.86 is multiplied by 1.790 uh, and the value which we get that is 3. Point, we can round up this figure 3.33 here we have 3.33 and it is degree celsius this is the freezing point depression it means that the freezing point of solvent water decreases by this temperature now let me use the second formula which is just uh, uh, replicate of this formula and uh, i will show you how you can use this formula and see so you will see that uh, we get the same value delta tf value here we have delta tf delta tf let me use different ink here we have delta tf and so is equal to i is 1 kf value is given here is 1.86 1.86 and it is uh, then next is uh, we have the mass of solute here it is w small w that is mass of solute it is 75 gram i put up here 75 grams upon and some mass of uh, solute this is the molar mass molar mass of the solute is 62.07 gram here we have 62.07 gram per mole that is the unit of uh, molar mass at the top we have 1000 and so divided by upon we have the mass of solvent in kg mass of solvent is given 675 gram 675 and gram we can do the calculation here top values we multiply first here we have at the top 1.86 it is multiplied by 75 then multiplied by 1000 this is the value we get 113 uh, th uh, 139 500 here we have 139 500 and at the bottom we can multiply the bottom values then we divide them 62.07 uh, it is multiplied by 675 this is the value we get that is uh, 41,897 uh, 41,897 point it is uh, 25 and so we can divide these values here we have the top value is 139 and 500 and so divide it the value which we get that is here you can see that we got the same value 3.33 here we have 3.33 3, 3. and see here you can see that the freezing point depression constant is having degree c degree celsius per molality means the unit is going to be degree c here you can see that we got the same value by using the both formulas so here you uh, can see how i calculated the freezing point depression value by using uh, this formula you can use any of the formula uh, for your convenience and calculate freezing point depression Thank you. If you like this video, please click the like button. If you have any questions or suggestions, please comment below. For more updates on IIT JE or NEET exams, please subscribe to our channel to get lot of updates. Support us by following us on Facebook and Twitter. To sharpen your skills, please try out our test series on livetotalage.com. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.